Hi, my name is Scott Dishburn. This is RideBMX.com and I'm going to teach you how to do the crooked grind. Basically, you want to start on as low a rail as possible really. Preferably either, if it's going to be a square rail, you want it to be real thin or a round rail is better. The thinner the rail, the better. It's easier to lock into the grind than a thinner rail. Alright, when you're first starting to learn this grind, you're going to want to land, hop onto, as you're hopping onto the rail, try and land a bit back peg and then let your front end fall over the rail onto your opposite peg. That way, when you land your arms, pull in your front end in and you can keep your back foot to pull your back end in. Just keep it in. Mostly, I focus on keeping my back peg on and I worry about my front peg at the end once I have my back peg is right and locked in. Also, when you're grinding on the rail, you want to be hitting the rail, come at the rail as straight as possible. You come out like on the 90, you're going to be pulling your back, like front end over and your back end's going to be all squiggly. It's going to, your back peg will drop off when you come at 90. So you want to be either parallel with the rail or hop on straight, over, like over into it on the rail. When you're landing in the foot of the and you're grinding along, the way you want to put your body so that you balance is lean all your body weight over the back. Like I grind on the right, so I want to lean all my body weight over my back wheel and to the right, so that keeps this leg pulling my back peg in. And as well, because I'm leaning back, my arms are straight, which means I'm pulling back, which keeps my front end in. And then if you get that position right, you can just stay in the grind for pretty much as long as you can grind the rail for. When you're going off the end of the rail, if it's a down rail, like a steep down rail, obviously you've got to pull up like crazy. Like, so again, once again, all, all focus back peg because your front peg is going to stay. If your back peg on quick grinds, if your back peg is where you want it to be, your front peg will stay on. So once again, focus everything on your back peg just to pull it up out of the grind. Be as light on your front end as pretty much as possible. It's not too hard to pull up that front end, but it's really hard to pull back peg off. Sometimes you can't get to the end of the rail. You might have to pull out of the rail. The way I do this is I, I focus everything on keeping my back peg on the rail. Because that if you pull over and your back peg comes off, you're going to loop out. You might land on your back on the rail, hit your tailbone. That is not what you want to do, is it? So focus all your weight on the back peg. Once again, because your arms are pulling, just pull up pull over but focus everything on that back peg because I guarantee the first time you try this your back peg is going to fall off so try it on a low rail as well. Sweet.